Though it may not look like it, Jim Muck is successfully bucking a trend. It's like the chart here. You see it's all different colors. Uh, it's a variety called rainbow. One which finds him tending to his family farm in Wheatland. His family purchased the farm in the 1850s and after leaving for college and then career opportunities, he eventually found his calling and circled back to where it all began. But it just wasn't terribly glamorous life and appealing to a high school student, so you know, I went off and I did other things. I went off to college and I, and I actually worked uh, you know, for Xerox and um, I was never satisfied being inside an office. Jim is 43 years old and has a small organic vegetable farm on a portion of his family's 160 acres in Wheatland. According to a 2007 U.S. Department of Agriculture census, one in four farmers is 65 or older, and the percentage of farmers younger than 45 has dropped significantly, making it just over 20% of American farmers. So there's like this critical need for to have this replacement generation uh, to come in here so that we can keep growing food uh, to feed everybody here. Rich Johansson is aware of the need for young farmers and is doing his part by mentoring the owners of Four Frog Farm in Penn Valley. And we wanted to set up a something for young, younger farmers who may not have the capital, may not have the land, but certainly have the knowledge, the the, the eagerness, the willingness to farm and, and and make it happen. Meet Logan Egan. He's 26 years old and graduated from Stanford with a master's degree in Earth Systems. Rich's knowledge has really been invaluable. Uh, first, on how to keep things moving very efficiently on the farm. Uh, he, no matter what we're doing, he's, he's kind of looking from a distance and, I, and you can tell that he's always thinking, okay, how can we make this move faster? And in places like Placer County, helping young farmers jumpstart their farms is not just an individual task. Communities are taking on the effort as well. So we're doing everything we can to get young people on the farm. We have internship programs and um, the whole community is actually coming in to support young farms now. I know my dad loves the idea that the farm is, is utilized uh, to a greater degree than it has been for probably 30 years, 30, 40 years, yeah. So we're trying to, you know, make the most out of what we got, and I think they like that. We're pretty proud of how we've been able to bring a lot of food to a lot of people in the surrounding area.